the question is, is this alopecia? Does this look like alopecia? Have you looked up pictures on alopecia? I challenge you, look at the picture as if you do not know anything about alopecia. She, the, the person in the picture is just showing you their hair. What do you see? What do you see? You see a mark. What could that mark be from? What shape is the mark? How deep is the mark? How long is the mark? Are there any other markings like that? And yes, we do know that she shaved her hair because she felt that she had a condition. Are there other ways to cover up that condition? Um, what is the difference between now and prior? Has artificial hair been worn prior? What is the difference now? What are some other ways that that cut on her head could have come about? Surgically? Uh, how else could that cut be there? Does it look like a cut? Do you see the, um, do you see pores? I have to repeat that question. Do you see pores? P-O-R-E-S. When you have alopecia, do you see pores? How does alopecia manifest if you're a woman, uh, if you don't have male patterned baldness? Does alopecia happen overnight or is it a process and it progresses in the negative? Can you reverse alopecia? What is alopecia? According to a doctor on YouTube, it is just general hair loss, unless you specify the type. Can your hair grow back? If the hair is, uh, if you have a scarring on your scalp due to a cut, will the hair grow where that cut is? Usually not. What does this marking in the, in the middle of her head, what does it look like? And those are, that's the end of my questions to propose to you to provoke thought. This is not degrading anyone. This is not talking about your aunt, your uncle, grandma, whatever auntie that has alopecia. It is looking at a situation and asking questions. And a lot of those questions are yes or no. So that is the end of what I learned from Bobby Hemet. And just question what you're being told of the media and try to help yourself with your own health, period. Know that there are there's more than one answer. There's more than one solution to different situations and problems, including your health. It doesn't have to be, you know, 100% one-sided. 100% six months you're going to die. 100%, okay, all of your hair is going to come out. It's, it's, stop and think. And that ends another episode of what I learned from Bobby Hammett. And this is to help melanated people. And that is all. Um, we hope you grow in consciousness, which is going to help you grow in your God identity.
Um, and as I was saying, what is the focus here? A black woman's hair and the entire world is thinking, ha has the energy of negativity of thinking about a black woman's hair, no matter what hairstyle you have, because they have pinpointed this example as associated with a black woman that she has no hair. So that is the end. I will not further elaborate on anything. I gave you the questions to think about and I gave you the premise at the end of the what is the programming here for the masses. And all you have to do is if you're on a Bobby Hammett frequency, you know what to do. And if you're not on the Bobby Hammett frequency, hopefully you will get there. Ask the ancestors to help you. So here is the yes or no question. Is the marking on her head kind of like a line, a straight line? Yes or no? Is, does it look like there's no, does it look like it got cut? Does it look like a surgical cut? Yes or no? Um, is there an indention in the head? Does it look like an indention in the head? Yes or no? Does alopecia show up symmetrically is there a symmetry to alopecia or that's it does alopecia happen in patches patches in areas yes or no